Hello and welcome to Google Sheets learning series. In this series, we will help you learn Google Sheets step by step from basics to advanced levels. In order to begin, you need to have a Google account, a professional or a personal account. Either one would do. With that account in hand, you need to log into drive.google.com. Once you log into drive.google.com, you might come across an interface which will be very similar to the one you are looking at on the screen right now. You can right click in the blank area and click on new folder to create a new folder. Upload files from your computer or upload a folder from your computer and also create any kind of document that is supported by Google Drive. For now, we are going to click on new folder to keep our Google Sheets organized and I will call it G Sheets and click on create. It will create a new folder. Double click on that folder, open it. Once you are inside the folder, right click inside the folder and select Google Sheets or click on the button which says new and select Google Sheets. Once you click on that, it will start a new Google Sheet. Every new Google Sheet will start with a single sheet inside with no name. It will be untitled spreadsheet. So I am going to call it getting started. This is what my file name will reflect inside my folder. If I go back to Google Drive and click on refresh, you will notice this is a file that is created here. It says getting started. That's the name we have given to a file. On the lower left, you will see there is one sheet only. You can click on this plus button and add any number of sheets you desire. In order to navigate between sheets, you can click on this little toggle button. It will give you option to navigate between sheets. The vertical section is referred to as columns and the horizontal section is referred to as rows. And here we have little boxes. These are called cells. Each cell has their own address. For example, the selection where I have my mouse now is in column C and row number five. So that's the cell reference for this box. And around these boxes, you will see thin lines. Those are referred to as grid lines. On the top, we have the menu system. This is a standard menu system with few options here and there. So we will explore more as we move along. In case you need help with any of the tasks or you're stuck, you can click on help menu and start typing in the item you need help with or you can always click on sheets help from here you will have access to the entire help console you will also see an option to click on browse all articles this will open google sheets help and you can also click on visit help forum here you can raise a question and an expert from the google sheets will reply to your query this was a very quick introduction to google sheets remember in the next episode, we are going to start with adding numbers, finding averages, finding minimum and maximum number and lot more. So stay tuned. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click on that little bell thingy to enable notifications. Until next time, have a lovely day.